Silver Shareholder here. I'm about to speak a little bit and I'm hoping to get some interesting feedback and comments from everyone. So I'm looking forward to your comments and seeing what you have to say about this. But I had come up with an idea a while back, um, a concept of a possible scenario that I don't really hear spoken of and uh, thought I'd put it forward here in a video. And I know I hear a lot of people talking about um, hyperinflation, dollar collapse, uh, preserving wealth, hedging against inflation, manipulation, the powers that be. But I came up with this scenario where I think it's possible that silver could go to a dollar an ounce and stay there. So I'd like to hear what everyone thinks and why um, I don't hear more about that scenario playing out. So what I had come up with um, was if you believe in all this manipulation and the powers that be and all this, um, how and why would silver be the answer to that? And why don't you think that they could control that or uh, manipulate that to suit their interests? So the way I see it is um, today we're moving more and more towards internet, towards a cashless society with credit cards, uh, wire transfers, checks, um, credit cards, all that kind of thing. And um, so things are easily, you know, controlled, monitored, whatnot. And um, so there, you know, they could pretty keep easily keep track of buying and selling. And especially if you believe that they already manipulate the prices. Um, we've seen, you know, real downward movement in the price lately. So my question is, um, in the case of hyperinflation or a dollar collapse or something coming, um, why wouldn't they just drive the price of silver down to the ground? So if you believe that they control or manipulate the markets, um, why not push the price down and down? I don't know if it would be, you know, $5 an ounce, $10 an ounce, maybe $1 an ounce, but um, just completely smash the price of silver down, which according to what I hear from a lot of people, seems like it could be pretty easily done um, with ETFs, you know, selling shares and things like that. Um, or even somehow flooding the market if they were to stockpile it and then flood the market, uh, the physical market, or whatever they had to do. But um, to drive the price down dramatically so, and then just ban the uh, sale of metals. So make it a strategic um, commodity or something, you know, control the sales or control the price. But um, a lot of people envision a scenario where it goes to the moon and um, either at least keeps pace with the inflation or probably outperforms inflation in uh, most scenarios that I hear. But why wouldn't they just completely drive the price down so anyone that wants to sell is stuck selling at a loss and um, you know destroy sentiment, destroy any buyer interest, um, shake out all the weak hands and then just make it something that you can't trade in um, to prevent any of the strong hands from ever cashing in or benefiting from it. And then I know people would say it would move to a black market or something. Um, but in the case that they've completely destroyed the prices of the metals before banning them, I don't know what kind of black market there would be and who would be interested in it and what value it would hold. So if the price was smashed down to a dollar an ounce and uh, you wanted to trade it or whatever, um, what do you think people would offer you in return for it? I'm guessing not much. So it definitely has its uh, uses, but unless someone's really looking to make some silver jewelry or some, uh, you know, so, uh, colloidal silver water or something, um, kind of wondering maybe they want to make solar panels. And in the case of industry, I know a lot of it's used as industry, but again, they could regulate the buying and selling of it um, to make sure it's only going to industrial uses as a uh, strategic you know, commodity or something like that. I just think it's an interesting scenario that I don't hear much about. So I know um, gold ownership was restricted for quite a long time, and uh, I'm just questioning why... 
they wouldn't completely destroy the price of the metals and then restrict ownership. What do you think about that? Thanks for watching.